Hey guys, in today's video, I will be sharing, yes, another Dollar Tree haul. Yes, please. A ton more of Easter and spring goodies. But before we jump into today's video, if you're new around here, welcome. I'm Bianca. Definitely check out my little space here on the internet. You will find Dollar Tree hauls, thrift hauls, vlogs, DIYs. I have lots of things going on over here on my channel. If you do like what you see, definitely hit that subscribe button. And if you're not new around here, thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with me today. Please give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy my Dollar Tree hauls. And I am in the middle, the smack dab middle of party planning for Miss Olivia's birthday party, y'all. My baby girl will be two. I can't believe it. I am filming a lot of the party prep. It will have its own separate vlog. So more vlogs to come. Definitely be on the lookout for that. But let's go ahead and get into this haul with all of the Dollar Tree goods. So... I found these little garlands here. This is just a little egg garland. I love the speckled eggs and I love that they gave us like the pretty pastels. So I picked up, I think three or four of these. I do want to try a little DIY with them. I may use one just as decor. I think this would be super cute at my coffee bar. So I picked up quite a few of those. I did pick up a few little plushies. These are so adorable. Now, these are the fuzzy friends that they have in the Easter section. So for like Easter baskets, um, I'm going to use some of these for Miss Olivia's birthday party. They don't have any signs of like Easter on them because they do have similar little ducks like this that are holding an Easter egg. So these I think were a great find and they're super adorable. Olivia already saw one and was just hugging it uh, but super adorable to put into Easter baskets which I feel like that's kind of the majority of the things that I bought stuff for Easter baskets I'm trying to pick it up when I see it because y'all you know how it goes it will fly off the shelf and I feel like my Dollar Trees are slacking a little bit in that aspect they don't have a ton of like Easter basket filler items yet um, I did get some candy. So I got these little M&Ms. I just loved the little Easter egg. I think this entire bag here is filled with some Easter candy. Now I did what I did during Valentine's. You can find a lot of this candy at Walmart for 98 cents at the Dollar General for only a dollar. I know 25 cents isn't much of a price increase, but if you're buying a ton of things, it definitely can start adding up really quick. Okay guys, sorry, I had to go help with Miss Olivia. I know I was talking about candy for Valentine's Day. I did shop around and whenever I was purchasing my candy at the Dollar Tree, I tried picking up items like this where it came like three to a pack so that I could fill three Easter baskets instead of just one. So I have these little chocolate bunnies. I have these little gummy bunnies and I love that they're individually wrapped. I also picked up a little pack of this Easter candy and you get ducks, chicks, and bunnies. That is super cute. <laughs> Sometimes I don't even know what I'm getting. I'm like, oh, that's cute. Put it in the buggy. Okay. I also picked up these little lollipop rings that are super cute. And how many do you get? You get five of them. So something like this is really great. If you have five Easter baskets to make, look at this for $1.25. I think that's still a really great deal. I also picked up the cookies, the Easter cookies. They came out with the little eggs. They are so cute. I love them. I picked this one up. It is in a bright, bright pink. I think the lighting is making it look a little bit lighter than it actually is. And then I also picked up the yellow. I believe they had a blue and maybe a purple, but these Easter eggs are so cute. You can always take the wrapping off, take them out of the wrapper and put them into a clear cellophane bag to just give them like a more crisp and clean look. Tie them off with like some gingham ribbon, add a little gift tag, you're good to go. I also picked up these little whoppers 
and they say bunny tails. That is so adorable. Um, and then I also picked up some cow tails, mini strawberry smoothie flavored. So I thought that these were so cute. I also found this little wood bead garland so adorable i love it with the light baby girl pink we have the little easter bunny here i didn't see it at my store but i know that they carry this where i believe the beads are orange and the little tassels green so it looks like a carrot that's really cute these are cute obviously to pick up for decor style them on a tiered tray but also cute for your easter basket okay moving right along i picked up this little craft for olivia let's see i thought i bought two yes i did i bought this little bunny and he has a little bow tie you get 13 pieces with this little craft and then i also picked up the larger one here and she comes with a little bow and a little yellow dress i thought that this was absolutely adorable so i think the difference here is if you want to apply the clothes and the bow to the bunny you have to use glue but i thought that this would be really great so that we could reuse it so not using glue um, and just playing with it put the dress on put the flowers on the bunny take the bow off of the bunny we can work on some location words so that's why i picked this one up and then this one will be a fun little craft that we will be able to put the stickers on so really great i think they even had a chick i was trying to have self-control let's i'm really trying really hard Okay, let's move in to a few Easter basket filler ideas. These little items are super cute. They're going to be great for the springtime. Better weather is on its way. So we have this little sidewalk chalk with the holder. Love that it came with the holder. And then we have this little bug catching kit. I thought that was super cute. We also have some Play-Doh. They had tons of Play-Doh options. They did give us name brand Play-Doh, but they also have like the Dollar Tree version where you can actually get a toy on top. So I did pick this one up. It is like a duo. It is pink and white. This is a great Easter basket filler, as well as these little gift bags. They are in the shape of carrots. I bought something similar to this last year at Walmart, and they were a lot smaller, and I was able to put like a little pouch, like a little applesauce pouch in it for Miss Olivia's Easter basket last year. I definitely could do the same thing here. I thought these were just super cute and loved seeing that you get two of them for $1.25. Next up for Easter basket fillers, we have some fidget toys. So we have this little poppet bracelet. I thought that that was so fun. Things like this are great to keep in my purse, my diaper bag, in the car. When you need something for those little fingers, pull something like this out to keep the little ones occupied. So I think that these little fidget toys, this one is a bendy tube and you get two for a dollar. You can turn them into like bracelets. They do make like a, I believe they do make a sound. It says you can bend them, twist them, link and shape them. You can use them to spell words and they create popping sounds. So I thought these would be super cute to go into an Easter basket as well as some yummy popcorn. This is the Sweet Chaos Drizzled Popcorn Cold Stone Creamery Cake Batter Flavor. Okay, I am so excited about these next items. They are adorable. They gave us these items for, they typically give us these little buckets for Christmas and Valentine's Day and they finally gave it to us for Easter. We have this really pretty light pink. It says shake your cotton tail. Absolutely love that. These little buckets are super easy to personalize if you do have a Cricut or Silhouette or you can DIY them using window cleans. I did decorate one for Valentine's Day and I used the back of the bucket with some Dollar Tree window cleans. Turned out so cute. Just use a little Mod Podge. Use a glue stick and they stick on there. I did change the lighting settings so that you could see the colors better. I felt like everything was getting a little washed out. So here is the pink one. 
Here is like the aqua blue. It says bunny trail. Absolutely love that. And then the purple says Easter's on its way with the adorable little truck. Now they did have a yellow one. I did vlog that day, so you'll be able to see it in an upcoming vlog. The yellow was cute. I considered that self-control that I didn't get the yellow one. These are so adorable. Okay, next up I have some more ribbon. I did haul some Easter ribbon in my last haul, which if you missed it, I will have that video linked down below which it wasn't by like a crafter square or a jot brand so it wasn't a dollar tree brand now the dollar tree has put out like their line of ribbon tons of cute prints these are the only ones that i went with so this one is absolutely adorable it has the little blue truck with the carrots in the bed and it says carrot patch ahead i thought that this was adorable actually i bought one more roll because i knew i wanted to pair it with the blue and white gingham how pretty is this so i wanted to make a bow using these two and how pretty would it be uh oh with this that would be super cute imagine the little easter basket in a cellophane bag with a giant bow love it and then i did pick up the pink burlap can't go wrong with pink burlap you can even use this for mother's day and then i picked up the thinner ribbon that's in the pink and white gingham love to see it I did pick up this little floral foam here i'm hoping for a diy I just have all of like my crafting and DIYs put on hold right now since I am in the middle of a party prep. I'm hoping to pick all of that back up after we celebrate my sweet precious girl. And then I have some wall decor pieces, y'all. I just, I can't help myself with Dollar Tree wall decor pieces because you can't beat the price. And they are so cute. Look at these pieces. Now these are a repeat from Dollar Tree. They brought these out last year. I couldn't ever find them and I did. And I am so excited about them. They have like that cutting board look, very farmhouse. I love the pastels. I love that they didn't add any glitter no glitter whatsoever really elevates these little dollar tree pieces so this one here says cotton tail and co egg farm i mean absolutely adorable even super cute for like a diy photo shoot for easter you can use this as a prop and then we have this one here with the carrots fresh carrots locally grown 25 cents each this is so cute. Now, if you did want to use these as like tabletop decor or to sit on your like kitchen island or your kitchen counter, you can just add an easel. You can either hot glue a Dollar Tree easel to like give it a little kickstand or you can use one of their picture frames and just hot glue their picture frame to it so that it will stand up. This is just so cute. You can style these so many different ways. I, I'm so glad that I found them. And then I believe this next piece is new, but correct me if I'm wrong, maybe they brought it out last year. I just loved the baby girl pink and white gingham. Loved it so much. We have Bunny Trill Farms, Farm Fresh Eggs and Produce. Again, no glitter, which really elevates these pieces. They also had it, I believe, with a blue and white gingham, maybe a green and white or purple but just absolutely loved these and my spring decor needed this. I did pick up two of like their little wood DIY pieces to add it to like my stash for my spring DIYs. In this bag here, we just have some more of these little egg garlands. And then I did pick up one uh, St. Patrick's Day decor item, which is this little decor piece here with the little hat. And it actually spells out luck. I want to make a little like St. Patrick's Day brunch for Miss Olivia. So I thought we could use this on our little tablescape. Alrighty guys, that's going to be a wrap for today's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. And I would love to know, did you have a favorite find from today's haul? The wall decor and the Easter buckets. Y'all, those are some amazing finds in my opinion. I love them. They were probably my most favorite items out of this entire haul. But I would love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. If you, again, are new around here, subscribe before you leave. Hit that notification bell so that you won't miss my next upload. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.